So Noah Tin, here's something you don't hear every day. St. Pete man and a couple of Ospreys are now forever linked. This after one of the birds stole his prized cashmere scarf. Not just any scarf. Josh Cassio is live in St. Pete. Tell us more. Well, Mark, as you know, Osprey tend to swoop down, pick up sticks and other brush for their nests. But in this case, one of them picked an item a little warmer, a little cozier, and a lot more fashionable. Whenever it gets chilly, St. Pete's Michael Maiello always wraps up in his black and white scarf. I've had it for 18 years. It's cashmere, it's six foot long, a foot wide, beautiful, wraps around. Bummer. He wore it a few days ago when he walked his two dogs around Coquina Key Park, but unknowingly. I had a sweatshirt on with a hoodie, so I didn't feel it fall off. And I'm thinking, oh man, it's gone. My bad. He eventually would find the missing scarf not on the ground, but up there. Right at three o'clock in between the two lights. Way up there. You hear? That's her. A keen-eyed osprey swiped the scarf and is now using it as part of the nest. A very classy nest. You can see it here in these drone shots. Can you imagine this hawk with that scarf getting to the top of that? I, I feel honored that they have my scarf. <laughs> as the osprey look down, it's almost as if they're saying thanks. I feel connected now. Yeah. I, it's very, um, very cosmic. A cosmic connection through cashmere. They got the coolest, I mean warmest nest in all of Coquina Key. And he's keeping a close watch on that nest, watching it grow day by day. He says he's looking forward to seeing the little babies when they are ready. Also, Mark, he has named the male osprey, get this, he has named it Scarf Face. Oh, Scarface. that works. Back That's to probably you. better than cashmere. That, that will be about the best Osprey baby blanket you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. Josh, thanks.